Why do fluent Chinese agree over dinner or in a meeting and then completely back out or drastically change the term? How many of you experienced this? Yeah, they agree, yes, want to do business with you, sounds good, let's do it. Handshake, let's go for it, let's sign it, I'll sign it as soon as I get home. Next day, man, I'm not doing the deal. Well, next day, no, I, I want to change 20 things on the thing. I thought we have an understanding, what's going on? I thought you trust me, we like each other. We're friends. No, 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 that's, what the hell is going on? The king of high ticket sales. World's highest paid consultant. Media celebrity. Multi-millionaire entrepreneur. Acclaimed TEDx speaker. International best-selling author. Dan Locke. It could mean either you were assuming agreement where non exist. Chinese people would not appear to agree because it's rude to make someone lose face. What's the word? Lose face. Write it down. That's a big part of it. Face, particularly in a social situation. So do not assume you deal with a Chinese company is done until the money has arrived in your accounts. In full. Yes, I'm sending you the money. It's right there. It's coming through. Don't assume until it hits the bank and you're spending the money, then the deal is done. Right, Patrick? Right? Patrick, Patrick deals with a lot of fluent Chinese, very professional investor. Um, by the way, uh, runs, uh, owns a company, investment company, uh, 20 million managing under, 25 million? Under management? Yeah. Yeah. So he knows the pain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, contracts and agreements are often not perceived to be binding by fluent Chinese. Instead, they're seen as guidelines. They're seen as what? Guidelines. 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 Just knowing, that's how, how, how do you think? Yeah, contracts, just guidelines. They don't think, oh yeah, you're gonna sue me? They don't think that way. Affluent Chinese do not value written contract as Western people do. So relationship, verbal. But there's an advantage to, to this, I'll explain in just a minute. They do not value written contracts as Western people do. Now why am I spending a lot of time talking to people but never close any deals? How many have experienced that? Okay, talking deals, talking to people, just make sure when you are, when anyone you're dealing with, most of the time, I'm just telling you, most of the time, that person may or may not be the decision maker. They might sound big. They might talk tough. So let me give you an example. This is very common. So you have the boss, right? You have a lot of friends. There are people who work for them, and then they know some people. So the ones you are talking to may be this guy. He cannot make a decision. So he agrees, yeah, let's do it. And he will make it sound like he's the boss, just so you know. He will walk, talk, act like he's the boss. He ain't the fucking boss, okay? Because they want a safe face. What's the word? They don't want you to know, they don't want you to know they're not, they act like they're looking, they, if they, they, let's say they're buying, a, let's say the boss is in China, worth, a, let's say worth a hundred million dollars. He's not coming here to look at the house. He say, you know what, you find somebody, and this guy finds this dude, and you go look. And this guy walks into, let's say you're a realtor, you, he walks in the house, you will feel like he's, he's the guy that's buying the house. You will not know the difference. You will not, he'll say, yeah, I'm looking for this house and stuff. Because he's not going to tell, yeah, no, I work for this and, and that guy, and he owns whatever. No, no, it's, it's all private. So you, you may be dealing with this guy. And that's why you agree on something. It sounds good. Next day, he talks to this guy. He says, no, that's shit. Don't do it. And he texts you, no, I can't do it. That's why. That's how the relationship works. That's why they changed it, because you're not doing it. So make sure, first thing you want to do is you want to deal with a decision maker. Who do you want to deal with? And how do you find out? So how do you find out? How do you find out? Can you ask them? Hmm? <laughs> Who's your 
your boss. <laughs> I don't have a boss. I'm the boss. Ask him for some money. So how do you know? Hmm? That's why you do it over a, a series of meetings and dinners and drinks. Get them fucking drunk. <laughs> I'm, I'm not joking. Chinese get you drunk so they watch you. It's very easy. You're one way in a boardroom, let's get you drunk to see how you are. Are you trustworthy? Are you going to spill all kinds of secrets about me? Just get you a couple of drink. Western people, they think, oh, I closed the deal. Let's get drunk. Let's relax. The deal just start. <laughs> the neg negotiation just start. Right? They're playing games, right? So, you may not be dealing with the decision maker. That's one problem. And the wealthier they are, usually they don't, they don't do their own thing. They send people to do this shit. So you, you have to find out, are you dealing with the boss who can make decisions, right? I want to take a moment and acknowledge you. Maybe you've been following my work for some time now and you've been watching my videos for a period of time. I want to hear from you how my work has impacted your life and your business. I want you to comment below and share with me your story. That's what gives me motivation and that's what gives me the drive to create more and inspire more. And if your comment is very good, my team will pin it to the top. I do read every single one of your comments. I might not have time to reply to all of them, but I do read every single one of them. I look forward to reading your story.